We are in Edinburgh, and if you miss our first day in this beautiful city, click the link on the upper right corner of the screen. And today is the second day of our two days in Edinburgh. After our first day, we drove to the highly recommended Scottish Highlands and the Isle of Skye, where we stayed for two nights. Check out our road trip vlog to the unmatched beauty of the Highlands and the Isle of Skye. Upon returning to Edinburgh, we checked into Fraser Suites in the Old Town. Oh wow, look at the floor, it's so shiny. I'm in the kitchen and the living room, but it has a pull-out bed for cat. Look at those fancy chairs and our room. Almost like a floor to ceiling windows. Look at that. See you tomorrow. You have a good night. It's 43 degrees right now here in Edinburgh. I'm walking towards the tram stop. I'm here in Old Town. Fraser Suite is in the Old Town. Princess Street is where I'm gonna look for the bus stop. No, not the bus stop, the tram stop. From where I was walking, I turned left and now I'm gonna cross the street here. Over there, where the ticket is. There are only two destinations for the tram to the airport and New Waverly. I'm gonna take New Waverly to Ocean Terminal where the museum is. So I'm here, Princess Street. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The tram ride from Princess Street to here is about 20 minutes. I've heard this mall is undergoing renovation, so we'll figure out where the way is. Okay, they posted some signs. It's really easy. Start your tour. So going this way. So the Royal Britannia is the former yacht of the British monarchy. So I'm gonna be following the footsteps of the royalties through the different staterooms. I'm gonna check the engine and then feel like a captain at the bridge, the cruise quarters, Queen Elizabeth's favorite room, and many more. So just got off the tram. Hi everyone! So you went shopping? Yes. Okay. I got How what I want. <laughs> How about you got? Yes. We went shopping and went to the Ross Valley. Oh, nice. We're now here at Edinburgh Castle. It has served as the residence of Scotland's kings and queens for centuries, a military garrison, prison and fortress, and has witnessed bloody siege and medieval pageantry. The two statues guarding the castle entrance are Robert de Bruce and William Wallace, portrayed in the 1995 American film Braveheart. Purchase the entrance ticket online in advance. For us, we chose the 12 p.m. timed entry so that we can witness the one o'clock gun firing at the castle. We had lunch at the restaurant next to the gun firing site, but make sure you get out of the restaurant at least 30 minutes before 1 p.m. for they're going to close the restaurant entry door before and during the gun firing. The purpose of the gun firing initially was to help the ships in the port of Leith keep time and set their chronometers accurately to determine their longitude at sea. Now the spectacle attracts hundreds of visitors every day at the castle. Immediately after the gun firing, walk uphill to the royal palace and then fall in line for the crown jewels. This is like the highlight of the, the castle tour, so go here first. But the line seems to be moving fast. So basically after the gun firing, we just walk up here first and then work our way down to the different sites. And fortunately, you cannot take a picture or video of the crown jewels, but it is just incredibly amazing and beautiful. The crown and the sword and the scepter glittering with gold. It's the symbol of royal authority. And Scotland's crown jewels are the oldest here in Britain. After you view the crown jewels, it actually will lead you to where Mary, Queen of Scots, gave birth to his son. And now we're entering the Great Hall. From the castle, walk down to the meadows, passing by some sites including the Elephant House. The Elephant House is where author J.K. Rowling had her first book published while writing in the back room overlooking Edinburgh Castle, making the Elephant House the birthplace of the series of Harry Potter novels. Unfortunately, due to a fire, this tea and coffee house and restaurant was still closed when we were there. Since it was spring, the cherry blossoms were in full bloom in the meadows. 
So from the National Museum of Scotland, we walk towards the meadows. Well, this is the college campus where the University of Edinburgh is located. This is also where you can find the gourmet sausage rolls and the Upland roast coffee. So this is the proper hot chocolate from Upland Roast here at the Meadows Park mm. to warm us up on this windy day here in Edinburgh. Um, Mom, you tried it. It was good, right? It is yeah? perfect. Okay, let's see. Mm, nice. It looks so good and good. beautiful. So it tastes good too? Tastes good. Tastes like a s'more with the um, you're right. Nice. Marshmallows, the chocolate, and the cinnamon dust. The best hot cocoa here in Scotland. Instagrammable. It's like you don't want to eat it. Yeah. From the meadows, we walk to the Vennel Viewpoint, another Instagrammable spot. Then we walk uphill and negotiated stairs and more stairs toward the Royal Mile. Cross the Royal Mile to have an early dinner at Makar's Gourmet Mash and Bar. Check out our top Scottish food vlog for our food review. And after our early dinner, I went on an evening stroll along the Royal Mile to the Palace of the Holyrood House. Behind me is the Palace of the Holyrood House, which was the official residence of the British monarch in Scotland. And near to that is the Scottish Parliament building. And that wraps up our two-day itinerary of Edinburgh. If you find value with this content, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you for watching, and have a very blessed day.